hello whoever is watching out there whoever is listening out there I'm gonna pour my heart I know so bear with me today is July 20th this is Saturday actually it's the Sabbath <laughs> for some I honor the Sabbath too though <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing it's a holy day it's a time of rest I just um, want you to know that it's the afternoon it's, uh, it's sunny, it's hot, and I got lights all around me. <laughs> it's even hotter. But actually, there's also another heat, and that's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Spirit is on me. So I want whoever is watching and listening to be blessed. It could be family, it could be friends, it could be a stranger. It could be someone, a friend from the past that's been in my life for years. It could be new friends. It could be my church family. It could be my new church family. <laughs> so um, this is in honor of my mother. She went home to be with the Lord on July 9th, 2013 on a Tuesday. And again, I told you, today is July 20th. We had her homegoing celebration on the 15th. On, I believe it was Monday. And it was uh, July, again, July 15th. And today is just the 20th. So <laughs> that's why I'm telling you, I'm pouring my heart out. But I want to bless somebody. I want to help somebody. I want to encourage somebody. I want to give you hope. I want to stir up your gifts. I want you to know you can make it. You're looking at me. I'm still here. And I feel alive. <laughs> you looking at me. You can hear my voice. I feel well. Very well. I feel good on purpose. I feel free. And all that's because of the relationship I have with God and because of all of the prayers that have gone up from prayer warriors and the saints, the believers. The prayer works. It's called, I call it prayer power. And the word, you need the word. The word is keeping me strong. It's keeping me high and lifted up because you only get one mother. And I know you heard that many times. I miss my mother. I miss my mother. Her name is Sylvia Dixon. She was 86 years old. Her birthday was October 7th, 1926. And I tell you, I know that she's with the Lord. So if you are out there and you don't know the Lord, you need to know the Lord. You need God. He needs to be number one in your life because if someone goes and you're hurting, who can you turn to? Where, where are you gonna go when you die? Do you know what happens to the body? You don't know. I would tell you, it's not me telling you, it is in the Word. Open up the book, open up the Bible, borrow one, buy one. You need the Word of God. It is quick and it is sharp and it is powerful. More sharper than a two-edged sword. You need the Word. I can't stress that enough. When you're weak, the enemy will come and he will try to take you out. He will add salt to the wound. He will stab you in the back. You need the word. You need to know that you can resist the devil and he will flee from you. Have you ever heard that before? Some of, some of the saints have. But in a time of pain and sorrow when your heart is broken, do you know the word? Or have you just been going to church and just being a church goer? You need to be a church doer. That's in the Word. That's not me. Read it for yourself. I just thank God that I'm able to take this time in honor of my mother, her life. I love my mother. She loves me. She was surrounded by love. And when she left here, she left here on a prayer. How are you going to leave here? God told me in advance. And do you hear? Do you hear God's voice? I heard His voice. He said two weeks prior. He said, He said, he said, I want her back, and she's ready. And I kept telling God, I'm not ready. That was selfish. I got it together, though, because he said, remember, I told you, when your husband died, what did I tell you? And I said, what? What, Lord, what? Because your emotions are all out of control. You are grieving. You are hurting. You are suffering. It's pain. It's like somebody has ripped your heart out. So... He said, I told you when your husband died, he said, I took Jerome back. It was time and he was ready. 
if it were not time, he would still be there. What really happened to your husband is I gave him the gift of eternal life, the greatest gift of all. So when he told me that, then I said, Lord, 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 I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Who am I? You said you want her back. I'm so sorry. I'm telling you, I'm not ready. No, 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 no. And you're telling me she's ready. I'm so sorry, Lord. Thy will be done. Have your way. Have your way. So I went to my mom and I said, Mom, I said, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I've been keeping you here. I said, who am I? I said, if I was ready, I wouldn't want nobody to keep me here. I said, you're ready. And it's okay if you want to leave me. Because really, you're not leaving me. Because I'm going to see you again. And wherever you are, I'm going to love you wherever you are. And you're going to love me. And I'm going to see you again. I have eternal life promised to me. And who's watching out there and listening out there. You have to live right. You got to get saved. You got to get connected to God. You got to confess that with your mouth and believe it in your heart. That he died for your sins. You don't want to die and go to hell. You don't want to die and go to hell. You don't want to die and go to hell. No, no, no. You want, when your spirit leaves that body, you want to go to heaven. If the Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Why would you not want that? They say in the Bible, I keep referring to the Bible because I don't want you to think this is coming from me. No, no, no. It is written. It says that we will be walking streets of gold. And so, walking streets of gold, people are out here buying gold, they're stealing gold, they're selling gold. But they're going to walk on streets of gold. My mother is walking streets of gold. This is her picture right here. <laughs> this is family pictures behind me. This was at the um, homegoing celebration at Opie Funeral Home on Southfield and Plymouth, on Plymouth and Southfield. And my grandson, Patrice Scott, he put this slide presentation together. That's a gift from God. He's only 14, and that's family and friends. And then... Um, May's Printing, they used to, well, it's been around for years and years. I think they were the only black printing company in the city. They're still around. The granddaughter, Elizabeth, and the father, James, they're operating it. And they put this collage together. So, I mean, but things you need to know. You need to be in contact with the right people. My mother, when she left here, she had no regrets. She was surrounded by love, and she knew the Lord. So she knew where she was going when she left here. I took care of her two months shy of four years, 24 hours a day. So God is giving me another life. So I'm going to get up every day and I'm going to praise and thank him. And I'm going to serve him. I'm going to keep him first. I'm going to try to please him. And I want to do what I am called to do. I, my purpose, I want to do what Jesus did. He helped people. He laid hands on the sick and they recovered. He raised people from the dead. I want to do whatever Jesus did. I want to be obedient to God. I want his blessings. I want all the promises. When I leave here, I want to see my mother again. Do you have any loved ones in heaven? Do you? And where are you going when you leave here? You better go to the right place. They talk about in hell, brimstone, and fire. Hey, if I'm cooking and a hot piece of grease get on my finger I just about have a fit I can't even stand one little speck of hot grease to pop on me but in hell you're gonna wish you was dead and you can't die your spirit can't die only the body died my mother's body died but her spirit is with the Lord and she has her soul her mind will and emotion so you're gonna feel that fire if you go to the wrong place get it right now and if you're grieving out there Give that pain. I went to a convention. I went to churches. I read the Bible. I was fasting. I was praying. I had other people praying for me. If you don't have that, you're in trouble. I'm on here pouring my heart out for you. You need to get connected to prayer warriors. You need a word church. You need a church that will teach you. And you need to be led by the Spirit of God. And your steps should be ordered by the Lord. So when you have grief comes up or a sickness in your body or if you lose your job and you don't your car is broke down and you don't have a car or things are going bad and you're suffering and you just all messed up you need a word you need God my mother she lived a good life she is with the Lord no pain there no sorrow there no more tears no suffering she's got made in the shade 
she's feeling good all the time. She has joy, unspeakable joy. And I praise God for that. She has that peace all the time. They are meeting and greeting her. She has many jewels in her crown. I'm earning jewels in my crown now. Are you? Can you say that? What are you doing? What do you do every day? I'm getting up and I'm trying to be thankful to the Lord. I'm thanking him that I got up. I'm in my right mind. I can talk. I can walk. I got my legs. I'm not in no pain. I got a roof over my head. I got a refrigerator and other appliances. I got food in the refrigerator. I got fr food in the freezer. I got, I thank you, Lord, that I got food in the cabinet. I got a car. I mean, I can go on and on. I got family. I got friends. Thank the Lord every day when you get up. Because some people did not get up. Some people, when they got up, they were in a homeless shelter or they were homeless. Or when they got up, they were in great pain. Or when they got up, they were just miserable. When they got up, they were stressed out. They didn't have the peace of God. They didn't feel the love of God. God is love. If you don't feel love in your life and peace in your life, then you are not connected. You need God. You need the word. You need to make it right. You might need to come back to God if you're backslidden. If you've done something wrong, he will forgive you. He will. And he will pick you up. And I tell you, I went to church, to my church, Exciting Life Christian Center. They prayed for me. And, and that we're located at 3 o'clock in the Holiday Inn Express. You're invited to visit us at any time. We love the Lord. We teach the word and we get into his presence. And we praise and worship him because he is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. And when you are hurting, God is right there with you. Whatever you're going through, in the good times, in the bad times, he said he would never leave you or forsake you. And if you have family and you're not close to your family or you are away from your family or you've turned your back on your family, if they've turned their back on you, you need to call them. You need to fix that. You need to go to your family and say, I'm sorry, I apologize. Tell them you love them or show them that, especially if it's a parent or if it's a, a sibling or if it's a best friend. It could even be somebody on the job. And even if they hurt you, you can still, somebody has to be the one. And it doesn't matter what they did, how long they did it, how much it cost you, how bad it was. I'm not even going to name what it could have been. But I'm here to tell you, fix that so you can have the peace of God. You can have the love of God. Because if you don't forgive, I'm going to tell you, it's in the Word. God will not forgive you. He won't forgive you if you don't forgive. That's how it works. And that is written also. If you, don't, you don't have to take my word on it. But I tell you, I had prayers from my church. And I, again, you're invited at 3 o'clock on Evergreen and 10 Mile in the Holiday Inn Express, Exciting Life Christian Center. My pastors are Darlene Bell and Pastor Sarah Riddle. We would welcome you with loving arms. You would not regret coming. And also, there's churches all over. I have another church family. I have another family that kind of just loved on me. And it's just, I mean, that's what we need, love. We need people that care about us and that are there for us, not just in the good times, but in the tough times, in the painful times when there are needs, great needs. Some people would turn their back on you during those times. You find out who they really are. You think, oh, I thought we were closer than that. I thought it was better than that between us. You let you hit the bottom and people seem to disappear. They don't call. They don't come around. Now, when things are going really well, then you got all these people around you, but you find out really who's who. Now, I didn't leave my mother. And if you have your mother still, then you need to stick by your mother and love on her and respect her. You don't need to uh, yell at her and talk back to her and argue with her and stress her out or your father. The Bible says, honor your father and your mother. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. And you got to do that. You got to do that. If you don't obey and do what God tells you to do, you will not be blessed. And I can tell you that. I'm blessed. I'm a woman of God. No, 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 I'm not perfect. I'm trying. I'm trying to do better. I'm saying, God, just lead and guide me. Continue to mold and shape me. I want to be a blessing. I want to represent you. I want to set a good example. I want to help people. I want to bless people. And I, I know my mom, I'm not going to be taking care of her anymore. She doesn't need me to take care of her. She's going to get a new glorified body. I don't know if she has that yet. But I'm going to tell you. She don't need this hospital bed. She don't need no uh, uh, the uh, 
and I had to change her. She don't need all those uh, pampers. Well, the babies wear the pampers. They don't call it like depends and stuff like that for adults. She don't need nobody to feed her. She's got she's she's got it going on. She's got it going on, and you should want what she has. Even though it's not your time, find out what your purpose is. Find out what your purpose is. You you might not be in your 80s. She, she was 86. You might be much, much younger. I don't know who I'm talking to out there, but I know God is telling me what to say. And he's giving me the strength from his anointing, his power, from the prayers that's been going up. I, I went to International, the International Gospel Center. I went, I think, three times to back to back and the convention was off the chain and they had um, I think it was Bishop Liston Page and they had uh, Pastor Cheryl Brady and they had uh, oh my god they had it, it just was so much going on and, and Dr. Lavinia Miles she had a prayer in uh, like a session a seminar and and I went to somewhere anyway I just was getting all the prayers and all the help I could get, I needed it. So I can help my family and my friends who might not know the Lord or be as close to the Lord as I am, who might not know the Word, who are weaker than I am. So you can always be a blessing and help somebody. And God is blessing me, not just for me, but for me to be a blessing. And I'm able to sit here right now and talk to you about the Lord of Lords and our King of Kings. He is an awesome God. And they got songs. They got a song. Our God is awesome. He can move. I can't sing it. I'll start crying. He can move mountains. Keep us in the valley. I, I'm just, my heart is just full. But it's, it's, a, it's a combination. It's bittersweet. I know it's okay to cry sometimes. But the devil is a liar. And he is not going to have his way. Thy will be done. God's will is going to be done in my life. And to my last breath. I'm going to be a blessing to others, and I'm going to be a blessing to God. And I'm going to try to live right and treat people right. I'm going to do His will. I am going to make God proud of me. I am. I've made a decision. I am, I am, I am going to put a smile on God's face and make Him happy. He is good. God is good all the time. You have heard that. But if you are hurting, you don't have to stay in that dark place. I'm not going to grieve like I grieved my husband. It was almost five years of my life. And then the other, take, taking care of him, Jerome Holland, he's in heaven too. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, that we have eternal life promised after this life. But while you're here, you need to do something for the Lord. And stop being selfish. Do something for somebody else. And if you've been having a pity party for 10 years, stop it. Stop it right now. At the sound of my voice and at my face, call me, Charlotte, 248-312-9945. Call me. I will pray for you, Charlotte. 248-312-9945. I'm talking to you out of grief. I'm talking to you out of my pain. I'm giving you my heart. I'm giving you my love. And, I, and it doesn't have to be that someone died. You could have lost a job and didn't get that position. Maybe you had to move and relocate and you're hurting. Maybe your boyfriend dumped you. Maybe it was a divorce. Maybe it's financial problems. Maybe that's the pain that you have. I don't know. It could be something within the church. It might be a decision that has to be made. It's something heavy on you. I'm just telling you, I'll pray for you. I will pray for you through my pain, through the faith that I have in God. By faith, I can help you if you need it. I'm willing. I'm willing because that's what it's all about. It's not about me. It's about being a blessing to other people. And I, I just love people because Jesus came. God came in the flesh as Jesus and he walked the earth. And what did he do? Find out what he did. I want to do what he did. I want to do what Jesus did. That's what I want. I want exactly what he wants. I don't want to be in my flesh. Lord, kill, burn, destroy my flesh. I want to stay in your spirit. I want to do what you want me to do. I want to go where you want me to go. I want to try to say what you want me to say. I just want to get it right. I don't know how long I got. Even if I leave here in 24 hours, I know where I'm going. Do you know where you going? That's the question. How do you answer that? Do you have fear? God said, and I believe it's in 2 Timothy, I believe, now, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, 2 Timothy 1.7, God did not give you, us, a spirit of fear. Some of y'all needed to hear that. If you're dealing with any kind of fear and you get all scared about every little thing. He did not give you a spirit of fear. He gave you a spirit of power, 
of power. And Dr. Lavinia Miles talked about in the, sem in the seminar recently at the convention at International Gospel Center in Ecorse, Michigan. She said it was titled, the topic was The Power of God. And God didn't give us a spirit of fear. He gave us a spirit of power and a spirit of love. A spirit of love, a spirit of love, and a sound mind. And you, you have to keep your mind together. You have to guard your thoughts. You have to guard your thoughts. And, and one way you also have to do is don't just listen to anything. Don't listen to just any old everything. It's poison. It's poison. When I was taking care of my mom, I used to sing to her. I used to pray for her. And I spoke the word over her. That's what I did. That's what went into her ears. And when she left here, I was listening to Mother Miles' program, WDRJ, on 1440 AM. My mom, she ends her program. It's called Wisdom Principles. When Dr. Lavinia Miles went off, and that's my second mom now, I'm this new daughter, she, I was holding my mother's arm while the broadcast was going off. She was praying. Dr. Lavinia Miles was praying a prayer. And I had my mother's arm. My mother was breathing. I had my other hand in the air. And she said, Dr. Miles said, Mother Miles said, she said, touch, touch and heal all those, Lord, that are listening. That's what my mother heard when she took her last breath. And she said, and bless them exceedingly and abundantly, more than they could ever ask, think, or even imagine. And, and she said other things that I don't remember what it was. But my mom left here with prayer at that very moment. So that what a way to go. I mean, I, that is beautiful. It's a lot of different ways you can leave here. And when I cry, when I grieve, when I miss my mother, I think about how she left here and where she's at. And I also think about where I'm going one day. In the meantime, you need to keep God first. Matthew 6, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things will be added unto you. Live right and treat people right. You've got to do that. And forgiveness is a great part. Don't be holding them grudges. Don't be bitter. And don't have this nasty, funky attitude. Some of y'all just need to get a new attitude. You need to smile. You need to laugh. You're walking around all stiff and all just carrying this load. You don't have to do that. And when I went to that convention, they said, uh, Cheryl Brady, she said, uh, bitch, I mean, Pastor uh, Cheryl Brady said, come up to the front. All those who are stressed out and you need to get rid of something and give it to God. Come up for prayer. Oh, yeah. I think I was the first one to go up there. I, you need prayer. And there's churches all over the city. I'm in Southfield, Michigan right now. But you guys might be somewhere else where you're listening. There are churches and the word that people are teaching. God is all over. He is there for you. Ask God to tell you. Ask him. Have you asked him what church you should go to? Where you should go? You might even be in the wrong church. Maybe your spirit is dried up because you're not being fed the word. And it, the Holy Presence, God don't show up there anymore. Maybe this is somewhere you chose to go. You better find out if you're in the right place. Did you want to be in the right place at the right time? And I just give a shout out to my kids, Andre, Troy, and Nita, my grandkids. I just shout out to you. All this is from my heart with love. I hope something I'm saying is encouraging you guys. I know you miss your grandmother. I know you miss your great-grandmother. My grandkids, I'm shouting out to Madison and Morgan and London and Stevie Jerome. And I'm shouting out to my grandkids, Patrice and Brandon and Kayla. And all my whole family. I cannot name you all. And, and all my friends, I cannot name you all. I have so many. I am blessed to have many. Uh, friends, I am blessed to have a big family, and I'm blessed that they care about me. I'm blessed that they love me. I'm blessed that I love them. But God told me, He said, I am, I am the love that you have for your family. I am the love that you have for people. I am the love that you have for anything. I am, I am that love. God is love. So if you love anybody, He has put that love there. If it's real love, now that's another thing. People use that love, that love word kind of recklessly. But if it's real, it will never change. It will never die. I don't care what state they're in, what country they're in. And I just thank everybody that's been praying for me and my family. Keep the prayers going up. I'm praying for you too. I, I'm a prayer warrior. And I just want you to know that I love you from my, my heart. And, and God has put, that, put you in my heart. And I will love you forever. And I will pray for you every day. Everybody that's in my life. I'm going to meet some new people. Maybe some, somebody might leave my life. But if you leave my life, if I say the wrong thing or have said, if I have offended you, anybody out there, please forgive me. I'm sorry. And Lord, if I've said anything wrong and did anything 
recently, just forgive me because I know I can come boldly to your throne of grace. And behind the camera here is Elder Anton Bell. And he is a blessing and he's a man of God. And see, I, that, I even have camera, a cameraman. <laughs> That's a man of God. That's a godly man. He's in my house. I, and we did four, three other programs we take today. And you can watch them on www. Uh, well, I was going to say Bell Global Network, but www. That is the network. BGN TV Gospel.com. And then click on Charlotte Holland. And also, we come on every fourth Sunday on Comcast Cable in Detroit, Michigan. So this is for my family and friends to be a blessing to you and to help you through your pain and your suffering. I only got one minute left. I'm going to pray in the Spirit. <laughs> Uh, hallelujah. So I pray. I pray the perfect prayer. That way nobody is left out and nothing is left out. Hallelujah. I'm giving them the highest praise. He is worthy. You are worthy, Lord. I'm loving you, Lord, with my whole heart and my whole soul, with my whole strength, my whole being. And I love my my, I love my neighbors. I'm trying to help me by faith. Love all my neighbors as myself. I fall short, Lord God. But I'm going to fix things. I'm going to make things right for you. Because you have been good to me and my family. And I love you so much. I praise you. I honor you. I glorify you. I love you. What's going on y'all? It's Mr. Bell. Some know me as Anton Choirboy Bell. Others know me as Elder Anton Bell. I am co-CEO of Bell Global Network, VGN TV 2090. And I want to invite you right now to get your own broadcast. I'm calling all ministries, all politicians, all business owners. Get your own broadcast right now. Starting at $99. And if you have an idea for a TV show, we can bring your idea to reality. We have packages available that include production and facilities. Also, we have advertising packages starting at little $25. So don't hesitate. Give us a call at 313-355-7877. Once again, that's 313-355-7877 to make an appointment today. What's going on y'all? It's Mr. Bell. Some know me as Anton Quarboy Bell. Others know me as Elder Anton Bell. I am co-CEO of Bell Global Network, VGN TV 2090. And I want to invite you right now to get your own broadcast. I'm calling all ministries, all politicians, all business owners. Get your own broadcast right now. Starting at $99. And if you have an idea for a TV show, we can bring your idea to reality. We have packages available that include production and facilities. Also, we have advertising packages starting at little $25. So don't hesitate. Give us a call at 313-355-7877. Once again, that's 313-355-7877 to make an appointment today.